Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Persona 5 Royal. In this episode, well, I'm done staring at this wall, so let's go downstairs to hang out. If we can really even call it that. With Maruki. Sitting right here, look at his man. Her pressure's been look at him. Dropping. Seems like it's been raining a lot lately. If it starts wearing you down, remember you can always stop by. Wait, what do you mean you've just done that? Oh, do you have time today? Actually, I've been planning a little... Uh, well, I should just ask. Are you free today? What the crud? Are we better go to Mars, Maruki? You better be specific. Thank you so much. <laughs> Great. Well, come on in. Make yourself at home. No, don't do that. Uh, well, I said make yourself at home. <laughs> no. Well, today's just going to be another back and forth as usual. Nor will it. Today's your lucky day. Please take a look at what's on this table. Okay. Oh my god. A basket. I've been making you listen to all this tough stuff about traumas, pain, and grief lately. So, I found these cookies in an underground mall. Now we can have a little break. They're kind of the fancy cookies, too. I thought I'd get a surprise for you since you've been kind enough to indulge me all this time. Go ahead. Enjoy. Um, yeah, don't mind if I do. Crap, dude. Thanks. Fancy basket, too. Go on, don't be shy. I've got enough for seconds, too. <laughs> you didn't have to say that, but you did. Oh, yes. Oh, I know. As long as we're talking about cookies, they're actually reminding me about this psychological experiment. The scientists prepare two containers and put the same kind of cookies in both of them. In one container, they put one cookie, but the other one was filled with cookies. Ten of them. So... They had their subjects try cookies from each container and asked how their taste compared. Which container's cookies were marked as tasting better? Any guesses? I thought we weren't going to do this today, Mar I don't know. The more the merrier. God dang it. Oof, Sorry. So Not quite. The subjects prefer the taste of the single cookie. What? There's something called the law of scarcity. It's about what you imagine from the name. People are drawn to things that are more scarce. You can see this law in action just by observing how excited people get over limited edition merchandise. True. That's pretty meta considering this game. You're right. I am happy I have the premium edition. I know, right? I think it's really fascinating. Yeah. I'm becoming aware of scarcity we trigger our own desires and cause a change in our own cognition. Not only that, the effect spreads to our senses and creates a subjective, observable difference in our reality. Basically, your perceptions can be changed by your cognition or preconceptions. It's all <laughs> below the conscious level, but it's really incredible. Yeah, sure man, for real. Incidentally, now that you've heard that story, how do you feel about that idea? That your unconscious desires may change the taste of the cookie. Maybe that one cookie just was really effing good. I don't know, but yeah, I, I really don't care. It's just cookie, bro. That's definitely not the usual response, but it's one I can understand. <laughs> uh, it probably sounds like an exaggeration, but something about that seems so beautiful to me. What? Maybe the human heart can falter, or be unreliable sometimes. But if this experiment proves anything, it's that even a simple preconception can be enough to bring someone more joy. True. For example, take that story I just told you. What if you'd eaten that one cookie and had been the best cookie of your life? Say I never revealed the trick behind it. That cookie would have remained more delicious than usual. It would have been a subjective truth of your reality. Yeah, I guess what you mean, but... Right. I'm right, aren't I? I'm glad to hear you say that. <laughs> but I didn't. Basically, what I want to say was... If this idea of preconception could be studied further and actually applied to treating people, well, I feel like it could help a lot of people. Maybe even more than I could help through counseling. Then again, 
and they rely so heavily on perspective. Some people might call it a lie, or see it as running from problems, so... Uh, still, even if that's true, I still believe that Method could save a lot of people. Yeah, that sounds nice. Sorry. Oh man, <laughs> yikes. Sorry, we wound up getting into an academic conversation after all. I really need to watch myself. Whenever I'm talking to you, somehow I always end up going back to my research. I want an apology. I truly am grateful for everything you've done. Not just because I can get your opinion on these things either. It's more like... It's as if I'm talking to an old friend. Bro, I've known you for two months, the heck? <laughs> but maybe that's too personal. After all, this is all for the sake of our deal, right? So we say, anyway. <laughs> what? Maruki, the free. How did this go from talking about cookies to. Whatever. Maruki finds a way, and uh, thanks to him, we now have one of the most broken abilities in the entire game. Right. Mindfulness! It says a chance to restore Joker's SP. But boy oh boy, that crap goes off every other second. It's pretty good. Now then, I'd better show you another way to mentally train yourself, huh? What I'm going to teach you today is... Da, da, da. Nothing. It actually doesn't go into detail. But we feel our mental energy getting stronger. Oh, here. Never a bad time for a snack. <laughs> Do not worry about it, Maruki. He's a cool guy. But seriously, like, man, maybe that just one cookie they put in that one jar tasted amazing. I don't know. Not all cookies are created equal. Oh, sorry about earlier. Um... It was supposed to be a chance for us to relax, but it ended up being another big academic discussion, huh? Yeah, but honestly, it was kind of cool. No problem. You're always so kind. You might be a better counselor than I am, but I don't even talk, so... Uh, I've always been like this. I get so hyper-focused on my research, I don't notice anything else. Dang, bro, same. Back when I was a student, people kept warning me about that. Uh, there I go rambling again. Sorry, sorry. All right, see you again soon. What's up with him and Kasumi? All they do is say sorry. Kind of silly. They didn't even do none. Crazy. But yeah, that's our event for Rain the day. Up. Now for nights, and we actually got a lot to do. And I bet that drunk journalist is drinking the night away in Shinju. Oh God, it's her. Oh, we better face the music. We gotta do this to establish a good rapport for the Venom Thieves, basically. And on top of that, there's also a lot we can do in Shinjuku now. So let's head over. First things first, though, I probably need to craft some new personas. And god dang it, I hate waiting for the train! <sighs> but come to think of it, why am I even doing this? We could've just teleported. Dang it, why am I so stupid? No, and then we have to transfer for- Okay, F it, I'm just gonna meet you guys there. <laughs> All right, a couple train rides later, here we are. The flashy lights of Shinjuku. And instead of going shopping or doing anything fun, we're gonna get beat up by some toddlers. I guess some people, th well, I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Never mind. let's get in there and craft a few personas. Because yeah, from this point onward, we're gonna be needing the faith matching persona. For a while, we couldn't make this, and I oh, I do not have room. Okay, you're gone, and you're gone. <laughs> Sorry. We're not really in combat right now, so you're we need the matching personas. Pose. That's the only way around it, but uh, yeah, to do, do this see? fusion, we need to go and like first off, register today? Sandman. Now that I have no sleep, I never want to lose that. We then, we need to... Crap, this is so annoying. <laughs> I need to find the hermit persona. Bicorn, and uh, there he is. We need to fuse this with Maruki's matching persona, the Kusimitama, and then we can create our first faith persona. If you're not high enough level to get this thing, uh, sorry. I guess go to Mementos, but yeah, hopefully you're level 21 or higher. If not, I don't know how you beat Kaneshiro, but skills on it don't matter. Honestly, we're just gonna do whatever the crud. Like, these early game personas don't matter too much, so I'm not trying to mid-max their skills, right? But in the future, we'll focus on that, and there he is. I am Phoenix. I'm the true master of all winged beasts, and so I shall become a mask and bestow my peace upon thee. Yeah! I say, I say, I say, that's a nice mask. Look at that. Now that we got that, we also this need to resummon 
Kusimitama. It has glutton mouth. How the crap did I never proc in the Kanashiro? Whatever. We also need to, uh, where the crap? There she is. Resummon Pixie. Because we're going to be doing the Lover's Arcana also in this episode. So hopefully you have all those matching personas. Don't worry. You can come back to the Velvet Room and grab them through the compendium whenever you want. Hopefully you have enough room, though. But now that we're done with that, it's time to do... I don't want to call it my least favorite confidant, but uh, it sure makes me uncomfy. I don't know why. Actually, I do. The entire aura of this is... Uh, I don't know. Despite that, I kind of like Crossroads. has a nice oh, feel to it. <laughs> you here again, boy? Don't blame me if you get eaten alive, okay? I'll be fine. I fight shadows after all. Somehow I think she's scarier, though. Hmm? Hey, where's my class? Did I order a refill? How much did I drink today? What time is it? Ah, who cares? Wait, I care. Hmm. She's drunk! She hasn't even noticed you're there. <laughs> if you ever write articles, it might help out the metaverse. I don't know. Just a thought. Should we try to make a deal? Mm. Yeah, I guess. Now then. Keep in mind that she's drunk. Now do a good job negotiating, okay? I'll try my best to lay on the charm. Hey! Lalachan! Are you sure this isn't just water? If you're trying to rip me off, I'm gonna reveal all your secrets in a feature article. Oh, it's you! Please, have a seat. So, what's up? Got anything new on the Phantom Thieves? Or maybe you're just falling in love with me, hmm? No? Well, then you at least have some news on the Phantom Thieves, yeah? Thank God. My publisher just assigned me to be the beat reporter for the Phantom Thieves. Man, this will really help me out. Are you seriously going to use this child as a source of information? Ah, oh, don't be such a killjoy. These kids nowadays know about things we adults don't have access to. Besides, what's most important is that I now have a reliable third-party source for my stories. Whatever. So, what do you want from me this time? Information about someone? Cold hard cash? Huh? <laughs> Lucky me! My very own golden goose just appeared! Now I can take it easy. Maybe I'll take a little vacation with all my free time. As if. What do you want? Just tell me. Last time it was info on Kanashiro, right? The office has been abuzz lately. I think it's Kanashiro related. Something's fishy. So you're being swayed by the Phantom Thieves, huh? But I see what's going on here. Hardcore Phantom Thieves fanboy, huh? Hey, I'm not gonna let you use this kid so you can take a vacation. A vacation? Oh, <laughs> I was just kidding. I'm conducting a private investigation during my off hours. No one at work knows about it. Don't tell me you're... Hey, how about we do this? You supply me with info on the Phantom Thieves, and I'll write articles based on what you tell me about them. You know, the Phantom Thieves who you love oh so much. Deal? I will, I will. But the quality of the articles will depend on the info you provide me. All right then, it's a deal. I can create a lot of positive PR for the Phantom Thieves, so be sure to give me some good scoops.
Your reputation skyrocketed after a certain point. It's unnatural how much your actions were publicized. Did you have an inside man in the media? Someone who could manipulate information for you? What do you have to say to that? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the devil persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. about this, okay? I don't want people to know that my source is a high schooler. Okay, Lala-chan! Time to celebrate our agreement! Bring out my bottle! And two glasses, please! Oh, come on, please! Whoa! Her silence is golden! Fine, fine, fine! I won't make the high schooler drink! Oh. I gotta use the bathroom. Ah, oh, she's gonna be in there for a while. You should go home. Is this what Mishima had to endure? My god, and- Alright, you be careful on your way home. Don't stick around Shinjuku too long after dark, honey. We got a lot of shady types coming out the woodwork. Understood, ma'am. Hey, I'll be careful on- Lala-chan, where'd you go? Lala-chan! Come here! Where are you? Oh, gosh. Honestly, that lady's gonna be the death of me. But she pays well, so... Bleh. You better head home. If she catches you, you're in for an all-nighter. What? An all-nighter? We're gonna study? The frick? Well, at the very least, you can show John's probably gonna drink until sunrise, so since she's in a good mood, she'll probably make you stick around until she's done. That sounds annoying. I'm gonna head out then. Well, better get back inside. Come again. You'll always be welcome here. But head straight home tonight, okay? Will do. Appreciate it. But no, seriously, that... <sighs> We're doing it for the fan thieves. We're doing it for the fan thieves. <laughs> Just keep saying it to yourself. Oh, boy. Hey, should we go to Mementos? I gotta stop reading Morgana dialogue. It's just no good. What's it really gonna give me at the end of the day? But today, boys, we're going to hang out with Takamaki. And... I really like this confidant. This specific one. Not just the lover's archon of it. All around, it's pretty nice. Hey. We'll just have to guess now we wait. Spence is really killing me. Dude, we changed his heart. It's cool. Hey, you know how I said I was going to take the world by storm with my modeling? Well, I was thinking of getting in shape first. And who better to help with that than Ryuji? I don't know. Maybe a personal train. You want to join in? We can train. <laughs> sure. The three of us will just tag along and have a good old time with Lady On. Sounds like fun. All right, let's go work up a sweat. It's pretty close by, so... Oh, and I'll let Ryuji know. Yeah, that's probably important. This is kind of nostalgic. Working out with your friends. Me and him actually have been to this gym before. <laughs> it's pretty sweet, huh? Not too many people getting in your way. Kind of nice. Anyway, uh... What are you trying to do here? Yes! I want to slim down. Yeah. Hmm. You tried jogging? Uh, aerobics alone aren't enough. I want to tone up too. So I need to start lifting weights. Heck yeah, now we're talking. Plus, my shoulders are drooping. I want to make my biceps leaner, and I need to straighten my back out. So, obviously I want to cut down on my waist size too and firm up my butt and calves. Dang, came in here with goals. 
I like that attitude. Let's get started. <laughs> I'm a guts demon. Ew. Come on. <laughs> the heck's that even supposed to mean? I, I don't know. Anyway, motivation's good and all, but you're not gonna be able to move tomorrow if you do all that crap. That's true. Mm. Then you come up with a training regimen for me. For free. <laughs> you're such a pain. <laughs> if you do that for me, I'll go on a date with you as a reward. What? F that! <laughs> Quit thinking you're some sexy character in an anime. It's sad watching you like this. Dang, ineffective. <laughs> what? No way, man. First off, one of them sexy characters never come to gym in their PE uniform. But what, what's wrong with the uniform? I like it. How am I supposed to know that? I've never been to the gym before today. That's actually surprising. Wow. Oh, it's my agency. Hello. <laughs> oh yes, definitely. Even a smaller article would be great. Uh, fell through? Yeah. I guess that's okay. Mm-hmm. Doesn't sound good. I was supposed to be in two magazines the month after next, but apparently one canceled on me. It was a black and white shoot, so they said I wouldn't stand out. <gasps> what? It sounded like fun, though. It was about the everyday life of models. That's racist. Guess you just gotta find somewhere you do stand out then, huh? True. <laughs> there has to be somewhere my vibrant charm will shine, right? Yeah. I mean, come on, on. You're like the best. No doubt in my mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Say it again, though. It was, uh, uh, where exactly? By the way. Hey, speaking of magazines. He was a real pretty girl in that one you said you were starring in. Uh-oh, this is bad. She's got that innocent vibe, but she's sexy too. Ah, and that's what real charm looks like to me. Hmm, were there photos of me too? Uh, yeah. And did she have long brown hair? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, wait, you know her? Oh, you gotta introduce me, dude. <laughs> oh God. You dick! Of all the girls you could have been talking about, it just had to be Mika? Ugh! I'm so ticked. <laughs> well, um, come on. Which machines are we using first? I'm gonna break it. You probably will. This place isn't well maintained, but the three of us strained until we reached our limits. Nice. Oh, God. <laughs> My body hurts. <laughs> God. But for some reason, I feel satisfied. Heck yeah, that's what working hard feels like. Not bad, huh? Yeah, it is a yeah. good feeling. Yeah, that was actually pretty fun. I think it was because the two of you were there with me. I had to prove I was working extra hard. <laughs> it's simple stuff like that that'll help you keep pushing. Heck yeah, working out with your friends is always better. Good advice, man. Shoot us again sometime. Dang it, I wish I thought of that. <laughs> it's not a competition. Uh, this ain't a competition. Ryuji, we got chill. Okay. Your what? ringtone's odd. Aw, oh, crap, for real? Ugh. Mom forgot to buy stuff for dinner. So I guess I gotta head home for now. See you guys. All right, man. Take care. It was fun. Ryuji just can't say no when his mom needs help, huh? I'm actually a little jealous of the relationship they have. Jealous over Yuji? What? I mean, even growing up, my parents were super busy. They always told me I was strong, and that I'd be fine on my own. I was free, but I was lonely. I'd make friends, but we move a lot. And every time I had to start all over again, I actually got used to the loneliness. Dang. But that all changed once I met Shiho. The world seems so hopeful. Come on, on, you make friends again. I heard her rehab is going well. She's going to be officially transferring school soon, too. Hey. I need to show her that I'm working hard and that she doesn't need to worry about me. <sighs> Come on. She already knows, On. How long have you two been friends? Come on. Yeah. Right. 
continues to see how much I've learned from her. Yeah. Dang. I don't know about you guys, but I think An's got a lot of endurance. Both mental. Wait, not physical. She still kind of sucks at lifting right. weights. But you know what? She'll get there one day and be the ultimate model. In the time being, though, now she can survive until she has one HP. Yes! Let's get back. Come on. Let's go home. I might have trouble moving, though. My legs are killing me. Yeah. They do that. Feels bad. <laughs> It's kind of a nostalgic feeling, though. I don't know. I miss working out with my buddies. What can I say? But, uh, on our way back home. Dang, the screen is tinted as free. What? Oh, hey. It's me. <sighs> my muscles are so sore right now. Going home took me more than twice as long as usual. But I'm really proud of the work I put in today. I would have just given up if I went alone. <laughs> I'm so glad I have you guys with me. You two are the best. Aww. I wonder if this is how Shiho felt with her rehab. Being able to push herself because someone was there for her? I mean, you could just, just ask. She's not going anywhere yet, huh? I'm just saying. Wait, but what if she flat out denied it? That'd be so sad and embarrassing. Uh, but, well, no matter what, I'm going to stay by Shiho's side. I'm gonna stick with her until the very end. Not much time left until she hosts switches schools. I need to up my coolness so she can take off without worrying about me. <laughs> ah, I forgot how sore I was. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, but I better go rest for now. Bye bye. You can talk on the phone and rest on, but don't worry. I'm sure she knows how cool you are. I think Aunt's cool in her own special way. Uh. To some extent. <laughs> According to Yusuke, there's that famous shogi player in Kanata that, you know, Ryuji wants us to spy on. I'm not doing that, bro. Instead, we are going back to Shinjuku tonight and doing a little bit of recon. You know, Operation Maid Watch didn't really pan out, but as the Phantom Thieves, we got to put fear in the hearts of scammers. So, that fortune teller girl, yeah, we're heading over there. And it's already the prerequisite. Oh. Hey, it's the fortune teller everyone's talking about. Are you gonna get your fortune read? No, I'm gonna fart in a bag and smell it. Of course I'm gonna get my fortune read, Morgana. Please. God! Oh, hello. Please take a seat. Why, why do you have that bag? Don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about the bag. Hi. Hello. Hello there. This is your first time here, yes? It's not often I get young men stepping by my stand. Anyway, my name is Shihaya Mifune. I'll be reading your fortune today. All right, hit me up. <laughs> You can begin by telling me your name. What? I thought that was your job. Shouldn't you already know that? <laughs> I'm such a turd. I suppose I could attempt to define it if you'd like. Let's begin with your last name. Is it Yamamoto? Or maybe Mishima? Or perhaps Kurusu? Hmm, this may take longer than I expected. Wait, she got it right. The heck? Dude. Ah, Akira Kurusu-san. I see. Your name is quite lucky. That aside, what type of consultation can I interest you in today? Uh, give me the full package, baby. I got money to blow, actually. Very well. I suppose the life of a high schooler is difficult, after all. Hmm. Now then, let's start with an initial reading to test the waters of your fate. Here okay. Go. Oh, divine power, bring forth this boy's fortune. Your first card is... I see. That's for the second. Oh. Next is... A Charizard. No, actually, it's the tower. Hmm. Is this? I've seen everything. A stream of light obscuring the sun. Like an arrow tearing through the sky. Here it is. I see. There seems to be a new wealth in your future. Your financial fortune is looking good today. This wealth of which I speak will come from your house. I ain't got a house. Head home without detour, and precisely 5,000 yen will be awaiting you there. That's really specific, but all right. If you say so, I want that money. Let's do it. As you should. <laughs> Get that money, yo. Fate is absolute. Um... But what is this? Hmm, how strange. 
the general flow of your future seems to indicate. Ruin? An inmate? Locked away in a lonely cell. What the cr- How do you know that? You seem to be a good person, but are you perhaps mixed with the wrong crowd? No, I don't think so. Beyond that, my, it seems continuing on your current path will lead to your death. Whoa, 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 whoa. I still get the 5,000, like, yen, right? Is that what you're getting at? Uh, it, can, can I, we, like, turn that around, maybe? I cannot offer advice to that end. Hmm. That's impossible. If the divination is coming to me this clearly, the truth of it is simply undeniable. Well, crud! Although, now that I think about it, there may be a way you can attempt to counteract your destiny. Go on. I'm curious. Where did you, what, what is, what? <laughs> All you need is my special spiritual object, the Holy Stone. With its power and your control, you can avoid even the most unfortunate of futures. Probably. <laughs> um. I typically only recommend this to my more experienced customers, but your situation is too dire to ignore. How convenient for you. You see, the stone itself is imbued with an aura of joy that will sap away all the horrible energy surrounding you. All you need to do is keep it wrapped in cloth and be sure to recharge its power in moonlight every three days. That sounds like a chore. What I'd rather die. At, for the cost, it's only 100,000 yen. Not bad for an item that can change your very future, yes? <laughs> uh, I'll sleep on it, okay? What? Even though death approaches? It's coming for everybody. You know, whatever. So you really don't want it. Hmm. Is that so? What a shame. It will be to see the flames of youth snuffed out so soon. Wait, flames of youth? Aren't we the same age? Well, come see me again if you change your mind. I can really help you if you'd like it. Alright. Yeah, that place is sus. Come on. Uh, you're back. Oh, you're all. I've been waiting for you. Hey, what's up? Oh. Chief seems happy. I wonder what's going on. Hey. How's your pocket money situation been looking? Uh, pretty good. <laughs> You're hopeless. Fine. Fine. Here you go. Keep it in my back pocket. Here. Whoa. For real? What? 5,000 yen? What? I won some money from the lotto. I don't mind sharing my winnings. Wait, 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 wait a minute. The lotto? Like the lotto? How much did you win total? The free. <laughs> Uh, don't worry about the details. <laughs> or what? Is 5,000 yen not enough for you? Mm, I'll take it. You. Anyway, make sure you close up the shop like always. Hey. So does this mean that fortune teller was right? Crap. It's true. Then I'm gonna die. That's incredible. She even got the amount spot on. M Margana, I'm going to die. Maybe that Chihaya lady can seriously read the future. Wait, this is bad. Didn't she say she was, you're gonna die? Oh yeah, she did say that. I forgot. Come on, I need to talk to her again and figure out what to do. But we can do that later. I mean, come on. It's getting late. <laughs> Maybe I can have her read my love compatibility. Oh. What? Uh, never mind. Okay, seems like Chihaya Mifune is the real deal. Maybe I should go and get my fortune read again. A hundred thousand yen for a holy stone? <sighs> Kinda pricey. But yeah, hopefully you have that much, or you can advance the four. <laughs> We're good. We got it. I mean, we did just visit the bank after all. But yeah, we sure come a long way with Sojiro. Shoot, he just like here, have some money. But if you ever break a dish, I'll. Uh, I thought I was going to be late. Customers were bickering in the convenience store this morning. A young woman wearing all brand clothes and an older man with gold accessories were arguing. Sounds annoying. Both were on their high horse, and even though they dressed fancily, it felt no a riche. I don't know what that means! Speaking of the Japanese word for high horse and nuve riche, both originated as shogi terms. A lot of people aren't familiar with shogi, but it's good to know a little about it. Why exactly? Hey, have you seen this piece before? Kawakami, we had a deal! No! Do you know the answer? 
what do you think it says on the back of this piece? I don't, I don't, I, uh, hey, it says gold because I've read the strategy guide. I mean, this is it. I'm just that smart. Exactly. That's right. The lance and the silver general also have the kanji for gold on the back. By the way, it said that the two on the back of the pawn piece is cursive form of gold. Whoa, there's a chart. In Shogi, you can choose to promote your pieces under certain conditions. If a knight crosses into enemy territory, for instance, they can promote, becoming as mobile as a gold general. A weak piece, like a pawn, can become gold if they get it to the enemy's camp, hence Nouvelle Riche. Dude, it's like words originated from games! Or maybe it was vice versa. I don't know what Kawakami's trying to get at. By the way, Nouvelle Riche liked to wear expensive clothes because of a desire to be acknowledged. So, once humans fulfill the basic needs of clothing, food, and shelter, our next desire is recognition. That's why people try to make themselves seem bigger by flaunting their power through money. Sounds kind of lame. Making yourself seem bigger. Reminds me of a fro lizard. What? Are we just going to ignore that? Morgana, what? When, ha when have you ever seen a furrowed lizard? Have you been to the desert recently? Or any desert? I'm curious. And we'll never find out, because that's just how Morgana's character is written. <laughs> but anyways, guys, we did a couple confidants. We got 10 days until the pictures get leaked. That we already they were kind of deleted, so that's not even a problem anymore. But next time on Persona 5 Royal, we keep spamming more confidants as we wait for the day of reckoning. That will never come. Seriously, why did they tell us? Oh, don't worry. Kanashiro has been arrested. Anyways, see you guys next time. Bye.